Good morning guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. I am Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and today is a busy one here. We have some contractors here. They are ripping all of the siding off of our farmhouse. You guys can see there. So lots going on today and as always tons of home setting adventures and always getting into trouble. So let's get this day started. Before they rip all of the siding off, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background. So my parents built this house, I don't know, 30 something years ago and it had, when they built it, they did cedar siding. And then about, I don't know, 15 years ago, the house was struck by lightning and they had to replace all of the cedar siding on the house. So that is what is on the house now. It is just, it's old, it's worn, it needs a refresh. So we are doing hardy board cement siding, just like, this is the garage, <laughs> just like we have on the garage. So we are doing this green hardy board cement siding with like a brownish tan um, trim. My dad and my mom did all of the siding on the garage themselves, but dad decided that the house was just a little bit too much right now. So we hired some contractors to do it. So we are replacing our cedar siding with hardy board cement siding. This is the back side of the house. Oh no, we can't see out the door. They're making progress. Wow. Granddad is gonna move the electrical outlets on the porch so we have more. So he's gonna move this one from here up to here, which is where the TV normally goes, up there in the corner, and then have all of this. They haven't touched this part yet. They have found that instead of pulling all of the nails out, it is easier to hammer them all in, which is what he's doing. I also had to take everything off of the walls in the house because everything started falling. taking the back off now. I guess their plan is to take all of it off and then replace it all tomorrow. What are they doing? Banging the nails in. because it's easier than pulling them out. <laughs> End of day one. I'm gonna show you guys what they got done today. Really surprised about what they got done and how much they got done. Not exactly 
the order we thought they would do things in. We thought they would do like a side at a time, but whatever. We're not supposed to get any rain, so it should be fine. They know what they're doing. We're going to trust them. But I'm going to show you guys what they got done. And yeah, so here we go. I'm going to start back here because that's where I am. Um, they got everything wrapped. Oh, you can see up there. But they got the entire house wrapped in the Hardy Wrap, um, which is very similar to Tyvac, if you're familiar with that. Um, but got it all wrapped. Got some of the trim taken off. You can see over here. So weird to see it all in Tyvac. <laughs> Definitely different. But, and then I, the front porch was like one of the first things that they did. Yeah. There you go. Oh, the other side. But, so tomorrow my guess is they will start working on putting all the siding back up. And then the trim, and then they're redoing the roof on the porches, just the porches, not the main house. That was done a couple years ago. But the roof on this porch is pretty bad. And then the other porch is pretty bad too. But they got all the tie back done on here or hardy wrap. So they did a lot. Um, tomorrow's gonna be fun to see how fast they can put up the, uh, the siding. So we will check that out tomorrow. Good morning guys. Day two of redoing the siding on the house and just more adventures around the homestead. I'm gonna run out to the camper and get the sheets off the bed so I can wash all of them because we do leave next week for another camping trip. And then I will give you guys an update on the siding and what they're doing this morning. starting I am in need of some quick breakfast options especially because the kids are going to school an hour earlier this year and hen has become a very very picky breakfast eater so sourdough blueberry muffins is what we're gonna try today she loves the sourdough zucchini muffins so hopefully these will be a hit as well and if easy breakfast means baking muffins once a week that's exactly what I'm gonna do I will link the recipe below for you guys, but let's get started on making some sourdough blueberry muffins. In a medium bowl, I am going to mix one cup of all-purpose flour. Then I'm gonna do three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. And a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna use a whisk and just mix it all together. All right, set that off to the side. Now in a large bowl, I'm going to mix together a fourth a cup of sugar. one cup of active sourdough starter. So I have fed it and it is bubbled. It has reached its peak and it can be slightly coming back down, 
but for the most part, it is still rised. So one cup of sourdough starter. Then you're gonna add one egg, one fourth a cup of butter that is melted and slightly cooled. You have to wait a second. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You wanna whisk this up really, really good. Make sure everything is mixed and combined really well. If you don't, you're gonna get streaks of like sourdough and egg in your muffins, which you don't want. So make sure you mix this really good. Next thing you're gonna do is you are going to add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and mix it up. Now what I'm gonna do is in a, another bowl, I am going to put one cup of blueberries. Blueberries, I'm actually gonna do a cup and a half because we love blueberries and that will make this just even more better. Then I'm gonna take some flour and sprinkle this over the blueberries. And I'm going to toss the blueberries in the flour. This will make it so the blueberries don't sink to the bottom of your muffins. I'm gonna line my muffin tin with cupcake liners. Now I'm gonna put my blueberries in my batter and I'm going to very gently fold them in. All right, and then I'm going to add it to my cupcakes. Or I'm gonna put it in my muffin tin. I'm gonna fill it three quarters of the way full. This recipe only makes 12 muffins, which is pretty easy. Probably won't be enough, but it's fine for now. I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and I'll check it. Muffins are done. They, it only took 20 minutes. They were quick and easy. Gonna let them cool a little bit longer and then we will try them. Like bigger, people have like bigger problems. Mm-hmm. Like they, like they. Front porch is all done. They have the trim to do, but the siding is done. Dad and I were just talking. You can't really tell. Like there's no impact yet. We'll have to wait until they're done the rest of the house. Or maybe another side. The boys are um, enjoying watching. Who are you talking to? Us. All right, guys, end of day two. Let's look and see how much this work they've gotten done on the siding. I can definitely tell you I have a headache from all of the banging, but let's take a look and see. They got all of the front porch done. They got the trim done on the windows, and that is all done. They did not get the trim done above the, like on the top, but that's fine. I'll probably do that at the end. But it's looking really 
really good. And they also worked, they also worked on this side and they got all of this side done. It looks so different, crazy different. Wow. Not sure what they're gonna work on tomorrow, but this is crazy. Jamie's out here trying to tame this jungle. Hunter came in with a carrot not too long ago. He washed it off himself and ate it. All right guys, I'm gonna call it a quits today. We will be back tomorrow with more work on the siding and getting some more stuff done around the homestead. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today.